قل لن يصيبنا إلا ما كتب الله لنا هو مولانا وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون تقال العسار العظام به ويعود الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر الإله إني سأفعل those of you that are familiar with Arabic it's not even a verb it's this commitment with a noun, with an ism fa'il. I'm absolutely doing that tomorrow. But then on the other hand, you have this absolute reliance on Allah too. And so we have to talk about this balance a few minutes before I move on. There are some people in this world, they think they can do everything because of themselves. I'm really intelligent. I have a really reliable car. I'm a really good driver. I know the best way to get there before I get late. I, 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 I. Every, all the reliance is on myself. The reason I have a successful business is because I have a really good business plan. The reason I have a good job is because I went to a good school and I got a good GPA and I, I have a good resume. So it's all about relying on yourself. And they have these, it's actually a multi, hundreds of millions of dollars of industry of this, the, the self-help and self-motivational industry, which the beginning and the end of it is you can do anything. You're amazing. You don't even realize your own power and your own potential. And people pay thousands of dollars to go for a weekend to hear them say, you can brush your own teeth and you can take your own flights or whatever. And they get fired up because there's this idea of the self, the power of the self, which has some validity. But on the other hand, there are people. On the other extreme, there are people who say, I can't do anything. I'm just a miskeen. I'm just a abd of Allah. What am I? I'm not worth the, you know, the dust of somebody's feet. I, who, you know, I'm nothing, I'm made of turab. You know? I'm made of a nutfa like Allah describes, this humble, pathetic creature. Then I can't really do anything at all. They have no self-confidence at all. And they say, Allah does everything, I do nothing. Allah does everything, I do nothing. And these people, you know what ends up happening? They, they do nothing in life. And when nothing happens, they say, well, Allah decided nothing should happen. So they blame everything on Allah. On the one hand, you have people that rely none on Allah entirely on themselves. And on the other extreme, you have people who rely only on Allah and put no effort themselves. You have to make commitment. You have to take action. Inni fa'ilun dhalika ghada. But you are the same one who has to understand that your commitment and your action and your capability is in the hands of your Rabb. And He will only grant it to you when you, make the, when you try to fulfill it when you make the best of your efforts. Sometimes your plans and Allah's plans are the same. Sometimes. Sometimes you decide to go somewhere and Allah decides to let you go also. Sometimes you decide to go to a college and Allah gives you admission into that college also. You decide to graduate early and Allah lets you graduate early also. So things go according to your plan. All that means is your plan and Allah's plan was the same for that one thing. But sometimes your plan and Allah's plan are not the same. Sometimes you want to stay in that job for 10 years, but you get fired after six months. Sometimes you apply to this school and you had the best application, but you still didn't get in. And people with a worse application than you got in. It happens. Sometimes your plans and Allah's plans are not the same. These ayat are recognizing that not everything will go according to my plan. I will still have to make a plan. I will still have to put in the effort. But at the end of the day, it is Allah who will decide whether this plan will come through or not. This is what Rabbaka Ida Nasi. Because this is really one of the most beautiful lessons in the entire Quran, in my opinion. If, if the Muslim understands this, their life becomes easy. These words are a dua. And more than a dua, they are a statement of optimism. Let's introduce it that way. Allah is teaching us in this ayah that the Muslim has to have hope in the future. My Iman in the Qur'an makes me optimistic about the future. I, am, I don't care what the news says. 
I don't care what happened yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. I will not be among those Muslims who sit on a table and say the situation of the Ummah keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Oh my God, things are only going to get much, much more terrible. And there's another tragedy coming, I guarantee you. Watch what happens. Oh, you think 9-11 was bad? Because it's the anniversary, right? You think 9-11 was bad? Oh my God, that was nothing. Watch what happens to the Ummah now and then watch what happens now. This Your you're supposed to be full of optimism and hope that Allah will make things better for you, for the people around you, for humanity. You're supposed to have that attitude.